I believe that God is birthing some new initiatives in this season that will outlast this season. In this time of isolation, in this time of not being able to go out and do our normal life to the level that we are used to. I believe that the Spirit of God is breathing new initiatives that the people of God are leaning in, the people of God are listening, and they are not missing this moment. Don't miss this moment. God wants to birth something in you. But it's not just for you to get through this time and then go back to life as normal. God is saying, I want to birth something in you that will outlast. There's going to be things that we're going to be doing in the future that we say, you know what, when that was birthed, you know when God breathed that into my spirit, it happened when life was in a chaotic place where the coronavirus seemed to be winning, but God was birthing new things. I want to encourage you to lean in, in the spirit, to listen and hear and see what the spirit wants to say to you, not only for now, but for the future. Bless you. Today I want to encourage you with something God said to me, and that is don't get stuck at a place of doubt and questions. Don't get stuck at a place of doubt and questions. In this time, we have more uh, questions and we probably have answers in this time that is going on in the world today. And sometimes we can get stuck because our fixation is on that. But I felt God say, remind yourself of what you are sure of. Remind yourself of what God has said. Remind yourself of what God has done. Remind yourself of what God is doing. Remind yourself of the promises of God, the prophecies of God, the goodness of God, the faithfulness of God. You have the power to redirect your thoughts and your mind and your questions. How about we shift them from questions about the negative to questions about, God, what are you doing right now? What are you saying right now? What do you want to show me right now? What are you sure of? Remind yourself about that. I want to encourage you today to walk towards celebration. What do I mean by that? Well, God, show me a picture of us in the future celebrating with him about all that he is doing and all that we are partnering with him to achieve on this earth. I see us smiling, having a celebration with the Lord God Almighty. But he says, walk towards that. In other words, make decisions today based on your future celebration. We can't choose something today that is out of alignment with God's will and choose something tomorrow that is out of alignment with God's will and arrive at a place of celebrating. Come on, there's a sowing and reaping principle in God. And so today I want to encourage you on that on the outside, on the far side rather, of this coronavirus and what is going on. I want to be celebrating with God that what He planned, what He purposed for this time in my life and through my life, that we are celebrating that He said, well done, good and faithful servant. It's not just for me, it's for you. It's for the whole body of Christ. You need to hear from Father, what is it that He wants you to give your time to at this time? What does he want you to give your focus to, your attention to, your pursuit to? And hear from Father. Get a picture. Ask him for a picture of six months from now. Ask him for a picture of five years from now. Ask him to speak and as he starts to say things to you and to your spirit, write them down as Habakkuk said. Write it down. Make it plain so you can head towards what God has authored. Come on. I want to celebrate with God and with you in six months and in five years time. Let's walk towards celebration. And that starts with God speaking to us about where he wants to take us and then us making decisions today in light of that celebration.